I tried to make it as rock and roll as possible. And I know it sounds like a cliche, but I wanted to make it, I wanted to make music that sounds traditionally rock and roll. And I wanted the lyrics to be firmly entrenched in the 21st century, meaning as, as my 21st century, not anybody else's, but mine. To do that, I realized that the simplicity in the music has to be there. There has to be a lot of air between the, uh, the chords. There's gotta be big drum hits. Everything's gotta be simple. It's gotta be filled up with attitude from the lyrics. Lyrics that were um, sometimes uh, not fitting to the actual music they're being played. So if it was happy sounding music, the lyrics would be actually like pretty bitter. A lot of cynicism, a lot of satire. And uh, the kind of stuff that you write when you know you want to sing the songs for a long time. Making a rock and roll record is a weird trick because what you're trying to do is simulate a spontaneous event. So it's not spontaneous, but you want to simulate it. So you have to remember from the minute I wrote that song, from the minute I wrote that song in my house in New Jersey, I have to go, all right, what makes this song cool? You know, what's the spontaneous thing that makes it cool? Let's try not to lose that from here to 24 tracks or 48 tracks down the line. Pretty interesting um, process and I can get, we can get pretty carried away with it. <laughs> real way to present music for anybody that's undiluted between any on any other kind of representation <clears throat> besides yourself is to go right to the people who listen to music and oftentimes go right to the people who aren't listening to music and literally force it down their throat it's um what makes music uh a force what makes music it's kind of magic is that you can actually go there and show people and look them right in the eye. There's almost hardly any other medium where you can do that. It's loud, it's sweaty, it's, um, it's, uh, you have to go far away if you don't want to hear it. There's something cool about that. You know, you make a lot of noise. I mean, if people really don't like you. They have to go like miles away from you. <laughs> it's great, you know, and uh, screaming and hollering. And so that's, that's where it's at with Monster Man. We'll take our opportunities as we get them. like uh, film projections, op art projections, smoke, strobe lights. Uh, uh, I like to create an environment that I would like to play in. Like, uh, it's much like when you were a kid and you used to listen to your headphones to like a record that you really liked and you have your room set up. If you're lucky enough to have your own room as a kid, <clears throat> you put your favorite posters on the wall and you put everything to where it's supposed to be and then you listen. That's the way I like it on stage. It's just an extension of my bedroom when I was a kid, yeah. and, and a, a, you know, a place where you could feel comfortable like passing out, you know, if you have to. I'm in the middle of making the record. We're all like busting our ass making this rock and roll record. And we've only got a limited amount of time. It's like, all right, well, we want to make a video too because we want to have the record out by February of 2004. What do you want to do the video about? I'm like, you know, I hate videos. I don't like videos. The videos are, are, are a necessary evil. Um, I mean, I like seeing live bands and I like seeing the occasional video, but for, I, I never, videos never match my imagination. And I don't think they match other people's imagination. So once again, I go back to the same old thing. Well, what are people watching on TV? What do they like? Tits. All right, give them lots of tits. More, more, more. Until finally, in the studio, <laughs> in between like tracking, I'm just being like, how many girls we got now? 40. Okay, 40, so look, 40 women. The song Unbroken, Hotel Baby, is basically a rock and roll video with a tour bus, us rocking, lots of like scantily clad women jumping around, um, trying to sell Monster Magnet the way you'd sell a can of uh, soda. This is the music.